The doctor, with all his skills and what have you, medicine, he saved, saved my life. It's been several weeks since the ambulance ride that took Joe Mikulin to Penn State Health St. Joseph. It was a limb-saving trip, but he can still recall the pain. It's the most intense pain I've ever experienced in my life, to call the ambulance. And I was fine in the morning, and I, I got up, and uh, then I, 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 was, I was sitting there, and then the pain was excruciating. I mean, never. Never have I experienced pain like that. The ER physician called in vascular surgeon, Dr. Ali Amin. He's an elderly gentleman that takes care of his wife, so he's very active in trying to do stuff around the house. And when he came to the emergency room, he had a sudden onset of severe pain involving the left leg, which he never had before. I ordered some uh, imaging studies, and the studies showed that actually he has a complete blockage of his blood vessel uh, from the knee down to his foot. So he wasn't getting much of a blood flow. Uh, at that time, uh, we knew that uh, if we don't do anything, that he has a high risk of uh, losing his leg. Dr. Amin chose to do a minimally invasive procedure to treat Joe's acute arterial occlusion. I was able to bypass a big procedure and do everything to a tiny hole in the skin where a catheter is placed in and the catheter is allowed to do everything that I wanted to do, which was most importantly, dissolve the blood clot. And when the procedure is done, the catheter comes out and you have no incision in your groin. Mentally, I was up to the tooth and he was able to break up the clot. If you have a big cut in your leg, it's gonna take time for it to heal. There's a chance that the healing might not be complete and you might, you might get a wound infection. At the same time, the incision causes pain. But in this case, you know, he, he was able to walk around the next day and go home without any problems. I feel no pain at this point. I am very happy, grateful, and I'm looking forward to a full recovery.